Now, just two, a few little reminders of things that um, you may have forgotten. Of course, in Katia, we can always go back and change the shape of things. So, for instance, if I wanted to go back and change the shape of the shaft, I can do that. I can make it a bit skinnier if I wanted to. Just change the shape of that. Uh, it doesn't seem like a very good idea to me, but, you know, I could change the shape of that. I can make it a bit longer. Yeah, let's make it really weird. There we go, and now we've changed the shape of that. Um, remember also that if I wanted to, if I wanted to change the shape of the blade, again, I just go back and I alter the sketch. Think about how it's going to work, and think about what shape you want it to be, and make it that shape. Uh, this is, of course, exactly the same scenario with the shape of the blade. You can go back and change that. Remember also that. Putting fillets onto these edges where this face is, inter um, is joining up to another face, putting the fillets on help to make the blade strong. So I can choose the fillet tool. I think maybe one millimetre is probably around about enough. And I should be able to go through and select multiple elements like that and turn them into fillets. If um, some of them are not working. I can click onto this blue button here and I can get rid of the one which is not working. That's quite handy. That saves you doing it all again. Or indeed, if I've forgotten one, if I've got these two working and I've forgotten, I can go back, I can double click on that and just select another one. You just have to be careful that nothing else is highlighted when you click. So there's some fillets there. Have a little fiddle, tidy it up, make it strong. And let's um, think about making them in the 3D printer.